Tracy Lindbergh asks, your novel is made into a movie. Who is on the soundtrack? Well, I've been thinking about that because, you know, I've sold the rights to The Illegal and I'm writing this screenplay right now, so I have been wondering about it. Um, it should be, there should be some great country music. Even though I don't normally find myself attracted to country music, my character in The Illegal loves country music and he sings it. And the thing he likes about country music is that as an illegal refugee hiding without documentation in a country that doesn't want him, it's got a clear melodic line and every country song has a clear story. And he likes the clarity of expression in country music and it makes him feel like he's home. Anita asks, what is your relationship with your characters? Is it possible to separate yourself from them or do they always reflect some element of your own psyche? I think that my characters often reflect parts of myself that I love and parts that I wish were different, but it's not just about me. I think in the case of Birdie, Bernice is the person that I wish that I could have been. I wish that I'd had her strength and her grace under fire. And I think that I wrote somebody whom I wanted people to be able to love because if you're able to love somebody, then you're going to take responsibility for their caretaking and make sure that they're not hurt. And I wanted people to make sure that Bernice was taken care of. Lawrence Hill asks, what do you do to steady your mind if your mind is capable of being steadied so that you can shut out the world and write? Okay. What I do for the mind, every morning uh, when I get my son off to school, I go up to my study with a cup of coffee and I have this, um, I have this little uh, down vest that I got from the Value Village. It's too small for me, and uh, and I and I, I put it on because it's cold, and I uh, and I zip up the the vest, and as I zip it up, it's like the vest is is giving me a hug, and it just uh, frees my mind to then uh, concentrate on the novel. I think without that vest. Uh, I would be, I would be a, a fractured soul. I wouldn't be able to concentrate on the next paragraph. So thank you, thank you down, too small for me, vest. Michael Winter asks, do you write about people you know? How has that worked out for you? Well, I try not to write about people I know. I mostly write fiction, but every once in a while, um, I've written a story inspired by something that's, that's happened. Um, but what I've found is that mostly when, when you do write about something that's real, that's when people don't recognize themselves and they recognize themselves in everything that's not about them. And as far as how has that worked out for you, um, I guess it remains to be seen. Salima Nawaz asks, what is your favorite part of the writing and publishing process? Again, easy. When the book is done, it's out of my life, off my desk, <laughs> and it's there. The book is done. It's ready to go. That's my absolutely favorite bit. 